स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट ई वी एस लेसन नंबर टेन मोर अबाउट वॉटर पार्ट वन हियर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वॉटर वॉटर इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट and plays an important role in human life and human body we can survive without food but without water it's impossible every system in the body requires water to function water is one of the most important substances on earth all plants animals and human being need water to survive if there was no water there would be no life on earth apart from drinking people have many other uses for water such as cooking taking bath washing clothes cooking washing utensils keeping a house clean and for keeping plants alive in garden and park it is most important that the water which people drink and use for other purpose is clean water this means that the water must be free of germs chemicals and be clear clean and pure water is safe for drinking here we learnt about how water is important in our daily life now we are going to learn more about water in details now children see this glass of water can you tell me what is the color of the water yes it is colorless means it has no color now try to smell fragrant flower can you guess yes it has sweet fragrance now try to smell same glass of water can you guess what is the smell yes it is odorless means it has no smell now taste the mango and taste the same glass of water can you tell what is the taste like yes the mango taste sweet and the water has no taste that is it is tasteless means water has no taste means pure water has no color no taste and no smell now let us try to see a candle through a cardboard can we see no we cannot see the candle through cardboard because it is opaque means we are unable to see through it now we'll try to see the candle through a glass can we see it 
Yes, we can see the candle through glass because it is transparent. That means we are able to see candle through glass. Now we will try the same thing with glass of water. We'll try to see the candle through the glass of water. Can we see? Yes, we can see the candle through it. That means water is transparent too. That means pure water has no color, no taste, no smell and it's transparent. Now let's try this. Take two plates. In one of the plate pour flour and in one of the plate put water. We see that flour forms a heap whereas in second plate water spreads. Here pour some water in two container. Here we can see bowl and a cup. In first container water has taken the shape of bowl and in second container water has taken the shape of glass that means water take the shape of the container in which it is pour or kept that means water is transparent has no shape it spread and flows So, these are the properties of water, that is, it has no color, no smell, no taste, it is transparent, it has no shape and it spread and flows. In this session, we learnt about the properties of water. I hope you all understood and enjoyed the lesson.